testimonies. There is a, a team here in Minnesota that, that has a, a purpose. One of their purposes is what they call kindness. I will let them talk about it themselves. I don't want to be private. And I will let uh, Florence who wants to talk. Is it true or not? I'm going to ask that. There's a lot of folks in it. Good morning, church. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We thank our mighty God for this chance to do the great work we continue to do as Kenyan community. And I see a lot of you who are in the group are here, so thank you so much for even honoring uh, this invite. Yes, my team, Lillian and Mary, this time, because we have done this act of kindness. Now this is the fourth one. We started with our, our late Reverend Gail. So we started here, and it was in the midst of COVID. And the surprise part is being obedient, because it comes from my namesake, Pastor Florence. She's usually the one who will tell me, Another time I told her, now you're not going to be throwing stones to me. We'll build the house together. So it started with her when she said, it's a high time during COVID. We couldn't see one another. How can we touch our pastors, our reverends, who come to us at our dining? We want, we expect you. Your pastors, we don't give them a day. You can come whenever. But how do we come back to say, we see you, we honor you, we love you, we appreciate your effort. That's why this was put in my heart to look at more the clergy team, which is pastors and reverends. I will not say they are forgotten, but I feel that's another way we can appreciate them to say it so that, you know, their fire can continue burning. It doesn't have to be anything big. And I always say, this is one branch of many other things people can do. So I decided to do the act of kindness for pastor. You who are sitting out there, maybe there's another branch you can pick on. Pick on the kids, pick on the parents, pick on something. Be creative. This time, I had to be creative because we know Pastor Carlin, Pastor Stephen Mwawero, uh, he's new in Minnesota. So I put it in a way as a welcome to our community so that you can see who all were behind this. And I know there are some when I sent the invite, I said, I don't know him, but I was like, Sir, what? you move on to the next. You don't stick there. And the others who entered saying, I don't think I know him, but I'll be part of it. So that's what I'm saying about obedience. Whatever is in your heart, because even if Gwadiyan and Agiko, to do more the way that you come In the market, there can be a lot of noise. It's not every noise you dance to it. So be wise, be wise, be wise to the noise that you dance to. So this act of kindness, I say, it was different because I wanted, I meant don't count the day, make the days count. Pastor Caleb will be growing into this ministry. I just feel the same thing. You have been in the ministry. You're going to continue growing. In Minnesota, you are a kid right now. You are an infant. You're going to grow to be a toddler, to a youth, young adult. And there's a book that has a reflection here because I had to put a book that illustrates the same. You are going to continue growing here in Minnesota, but behind a congregation, it will be possible. I'm not saying it will be easy. I know you encounter challenges, but I'm not saying but. However, with the support of your wife, the support of your children, you will make it happen. Let me stop there and give my team to say something because I know they have something to say. We won't say much. Probably I'll give it over to you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, when we have an opportunity to come together and honor you, Pastor Taylor, and your lovely wife, 
Um, we were very honored uh, because you and I have worked together in the ministry and we have seen what you've been able to be a part of the Kibo Show. Um, and it's just been an honor to see you humbly serve the Lord. And so we just want to say thank you for what you do. But we also know you in every great man. There's a great woman. And so because of that, because of that um, we also have a, a package for our lovely lady pastor. As you support him, you also support the church and you support the community. And we want to make sure that you know that your work is not in vain. We're very grateful for you. So thank you, Dr. Lata. So, as I said, I know they have something to say. And it would be selfish of me to say, I only did it with my team, but I did it with an additional 83 people who are in a group. Some of them are here. So we are going to eventually add you to that group. You can share your gratitude and however you want to say it, you know, we'll add you to this group after this. So this one is, uh, we are going to present now. Uh, so we are going to have the pastor wife and children come here and thank you all and thank you all who chose to come here and I know some of you will have something to say so I'm sure you'll be given a chance. So for us, I'm not sure. <laughs> so this is for you and your family. The message is in there. And because as we said, behind a great man, there is always support from our wife. That's for every, all of you. Barrenness in his family. Pastor K. 
Caleb planted in his commitment by coming to Kigosho. And when I remember about him, I'm just reminded of 1 Corinthians 15:58. That therefore, my brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abiding in the work of the Lord, in as much as you know you are ever in the Lord is not in vain. And so if you are there, as my co-pastor has said, you can maybe be waiting to do something. You know, we don't say we are going to do it in the spirit. Because Jesus always touched people, you know, physically. We have to touch our pastor and tell him we love him. He has committed his life to come here and there is nothing so good. Like when you know, there is a team behind you. We are from different churches, others from our coverage, others from Pentecostals, others from SDG Europa. So we love you and we are following the legacy of our late Reverend Kero. I always feel I'm from a beautiful way. Before you came, I used to come and preach, but you know, whenever the chance came, now God gave, you know, gave us another chance. So, we all love you, and it will be selfish for us not to give somebody who is not a pastor to say something in the community. If you allow me, I would be Haman Wawero, so that you can represent me. Is that okay? Yes. 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 Well, that's good. Okay. Now, for those uh, who are and I thank God for this good opportunity to be with you, men of God, and men of God. We are in the service. The Bible talks about when one is in need, we come together. Or oh, when one is going further, also we further together. So in all that we do, let's do according to the love that Jesus showed us. So we we do this or we unite together, not because or we come together to be together, not because other places have nothing else to do, but we do this for that unity. There is power in unity. So let's let's all live in unity for the sake of the gospel. When we when one is uh, is in need or needs something Let's come together as a community so that when we fight, we fight a good fight. Mm -hmm. So God loves you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the very Please, 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 please,